On to the next one. The newly crowned king of Alabama seafood already looking for his next title. Way 31 morning anchor Demetria Green explains what's at stake for one show's restaurant. Blink and you might miss it. But folks in Florence know Odette and its employees have something special. Just two months ago, chef Kyle Ogden and his sous chef Taylor Bradley took home first place in the Alabama seafood cook-off. I didn't expect to win. No, we um, were I, we were saying it to each other a lot. Like, uh, oh, we they got uh, they got they got so much stuff over there. They got all these cool things going on, and yeah, we were, it was uh, it was a, it was a shock. Chef Ogden's dish, the Spring Tide, captivated the judges. What sets his dish apart from the rest? I would say the freshness of the fish that we got from Dreadnought Charters, um, as well as the produce and stuff that we got you know, procured locally from uh, Kodachrome Gardens here in Florence, Alabama, and then even just down to the, the freshness of the, the crab and stuff that we got from Evans Meat and Seafood in Birmingham as well. But the dish alone isn't what helped the duo win. And Taylor Taylor's very, very good to, and easy to communicate with, and I think the biggest thing we did was kind of talk to each other as we were working through and keeping track of time. Kind of like played out, you know, we just kind of gravitated. Ogden and Bradley plan to team up again and represent Alabama in the Great American Seafood Cook-Off. This is the third time Odette's gotten to go to the competition, so this would be the first time that they've won the, the Great American Seafood Contest. Taking home the gold would also be the second for an Alabama restaurant. But the Great American Seafood Cook-Off is anyone's game. We're, we're looking forward to going down to New Orleans and seeing how that plays out. With coverage you can count on, I'm Demetria Green, Way 31 News. And the Great American Seafood Cook-Off is set for August 3rd in New Orleans, Louisiana. And of course, we will have those results right here on air and on our website at waytv.com.